on Tuesday the 9th of June, the feast day of St. Columba of Iona. We will use the order of the Iona community for our morning prayer. Our Lord God has made a home upon earth. Christ dwells among us and is one of us. The highest of all creation lives among the least. Christ journeys with the rejected and welcomes the weary. Come now, all who thirst, and drink the water of life. Come now, all who hunger, and be filled with good things. Come now, all who seek, and be warmed by the fire of love. In silence, let us admit our frailties and confess our faults. Before God, we the people of God confess to our brokenness, to the ways we wound our lives, the lives of others and the life of the world. May God forgive us, Christ renew us, and the Spirit enable us to grow in love. Amen. Move among us, O God, give us life. Let your people rejoice in you. Make our hearts clean within us. Renew us in mind and in spirit. Give us again the joy of your help. With your spirit of freedom, sustain us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, and thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. With the whole church we affirm that we are made in God's image, befriended by Christ, empowered by the Spirit. With people everywhere, we affirm God's goodness at the heart of humanity, planted more deeply than all that is wrong. With all creation, we celebrate the miracle and the wonder of life, the unfolding purposes of God, forever at work in ourselves and in the world. This morning's reading comes from the fifth chapter of the Gospel of St Matthew. Listen now for the word of God. Jesus said, you are the world's light. It is impossible to hide a town built on the top of a hill. Men do not light a lamp and put it under a bucket. They put it on a lampstand and it gives light for everybody in the house. Let your light shine like that in the sight of men. Let them see the good things you do and praise your Father in heaven. It was in the early summer of the year 563 that an Irish monk named Columba and his 12 companions landed from their coracles, their wicker and leather boats on the pebble beach at the south end of the Isle of Iona. They had travelled from the coast of Northern Ireland. Here Columba established a monastery and from this mother community missionaries went out to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ throughout Scotland and Northern England. 
Such was the veneration in which this house of God, this monastery was held, that pilgrims from far and near have been coming to Iona for centuries. And kings have been buried there. 48 Scots kings, four Irish kings, seven kings of Norway, were laid to rest in the kirkyard on Iona. Columba knew that there was danger surrounding his monastery. He could have predicted that in the next couple of hundred years the ravages of Vikings in this case would lay waste to his monastery. But he also knew that its life would, in the fullness of time, be restored. Iona is a remarkable place where the membrane between heaven and earth is said to be very thin. This was his prophecy. He wrote, in Iona of my heart, Iona of my love, instead of monks' voices shall be heard the lowing of cattle. But ere the world comes to an end, Iona shall be as it was. Let us pray. O God, lead us from death to life, from falsehood to truth. Lead us from despair to hope, from fear to trust. Lead us from hate to love, from war to peace. Let peace fill our hearts, our world, our universe. We ask it for the sake of Jesus Christ, the Prince of Peace. Amen. As you go on your way, go forth into the world in peace, be of good courage, hold fast that which is good, strengthen the weak, help the afflicted, lend it to no man evil for evil, love, honour and serve the Lord, rejoicing in the power of of his Holy Spirit. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with you this day and always.